That's Asa Nabi, an OG Cree singer-songwriter from Sandy Lake First Nation. That's a remote flying community in northwestern Ontario. He's now based in Toronto, but he has been busy on the road, playing shows and touring coast to coast. Well, next up is the Junos. Asa Nabi is joining me now. Thank you so much for being here with us. Hey, thank you so much for having me. So yes, we got to start with the Junos. You're nominated for not one, but three. Congratulations. How does that feel? Um, yeah, you know, it's, uh, obviously like so much gratitude, like, cause like these, I don't know who sits on these juries that, that do the voting, but I know they're my peers. So, you know, the fact that, you know, whoever they are kind of, you know, felt what I'm doing is, is kind of worthy of the nominations is like such a, yeah, you know, it, it fills the cup and it makes me feel really great that my peers, you know, have that much belief in what I'm doing. So. Yeah, just a lot of gratitude <laughs> and also just a lot of, uh, I suppose, maybe the pressure of it, too, because it's kind of like, you know, with that in that same in that same vein, like I want to do do right by them. And, and by like as soon as I got the nominations, I was like, oh, now the now the work starts again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that makes totally. sense. The child in the grass, not a kill, wish you could listen. You're nominated, so maybe there's a bit of pressure with that, but you're also performing, and you probably don't want to give away too many secrets, but we know you are paying tribute to a couple of Canadian giants. What can you share with us? Oh, um, well, I can't share too much, but uh, yeah, like they, they are massive giants and, and such legends. And, and so, yeah, like we're putting a lot of a lot of heart into the performance to make sure we're, we're doing right by the families. Yeah, we're talking about Gordon Lightfoot and Robbie Robertson. I'm really excited to talk about that. Yeah, you know, we've been we've we've been rehearsing and I'm like, I'm really excited to kind of share that, especially with an artist like like Alison Russell, like um, you know, she she's really involved in, in everything that she does, obviously, and, and so am I. You mentioned Alison Russell. We got to talk about your tour, the two of you um, on the road. On the road, I had a chance to see it at the Danforth Music Hall. It was an extraordinary night. You know, when you think back on that tour, what are some of the standout moments for you? You know what? Like, it's... Well, like we we started in the West and you know made it all the way across across the country, but um, you know the only unfortunate thing is we didn't get to play the prairies right because we got caught in that snowstorm. Right. And I, yeah, and it was uh, it was pretty wild too because I'm not on the bus, so like me and my friend John, who's who's you know, kind of taking taking photos and videos of the tour. Um, like we were driving behind the bus in like a, you know, an SUV or whatever kind of rentals we get along the way. And like we we're getting like hitting these snow drifts that are like up to my waist and like you would you'd hit a snow drift and like it would like really jerk the char the the car, but then all that snow would just like land on your windshield and then you you just can't see for like four seconds. And and there was like really no like turning back, right? Like you just had to go until you got to a, a spot. Um, so we ended up having to like, like we weren't able to make the Saskatoon show. Like we're stuck like a hundred kilometers south of it. You've got the Junos, then after that you're headed overseas for more shows. And I was thinking back to when you and I actually first talked when you first signed with Ishkade Records, which is one of the first indigenous and women owned labels in Canada. And like you just said, it's been like nonstop ever since. So when you have a moment to kind of pause and reflect on the last little while, where does your mind go? It's It's been pretty well nonstop. And I think like, I'm not sure how much that's gonna change. So like, I think at the end of the year, I'm gonna try and book like a, a month off to kind of just, uh, to do those things because I think it's it's really important to keep kind of filling your cup. Otherwise, I don't think it's sustainable to kind of just keep going. Well, thank you so much for sharing all of that with us. We're going to be so excited to watch you at the Junos. Thanks for being here with us. 
And thank you so much for having me. That's Asa Navi. He's a singer, songwriter, nominated for three Junos. Lady from your friends. I've been warned through your garden. Did I give you enough to grow? I've been walking. 